Hair Saloons. In the Philippines, below. Dad, what the f***? They, they, they said London. That's in, the, that's in here. Nah, it's in the Philippines. Yeah. Better than Yeah, I like that. She was made to sing soul music. You know what's yeah, meant to her? I feel like what happens is, because they get bored. Oh uh, yeah, they start experimenting with so many things. Because uh, yeah. back home, what would happen is like, we, we, we wouldn't sing, we didn't do karaoke. Like we're, we're <laughs> South American Latinos, you know, from Venezuela and stuff. Um, <laughs> we would dance. <laughs> but yeah. you can't dance if you stand like that. So you, you, you will dance vicariously through the hobo that's been drinking for the last three days. <laughs> and he's out here, he dancing, chick it, chick it, boom, chick it, you know? And <laughs> You would live vicariously through that because if that was you, you'd probably dance it. And every time, like, you could even walk into the shop, you know, fucking banging some salsa, and everyone would actually reward you for that. Yeah, not called your yeah, weirdo, yeah. like they did it here to me yesterday. Because <laughs> <laughs> they get bored and stuff, and it's just so culturally intertwined. It's like, what, what's the thing to do? Sing. Sing. That is but, just crazy, though. But people don't understand because some of you might be from the Philippines. Maybe you're connected to the Philippines. Maybe your mom Filipino, like, you know, because we got viewers from all over the world and shit. And like we have a lot of second generation yeah, people, yeah, right? Yeah. So like our age, or like you know, they're half Filipino and half of European or yeah. whatever. And so this shit ain't normal, though. It isn't though. Even if you grew up like this, it's still not normal. Nah, man. <laughs> the fact that it's so common doesn't make it normal. Let's just put that into perspective, yeah. Yep.